In this video, we're going to be taking a look at noise reduction inside of Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Hey guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. What I want to do with this video is to take a look at techniques for reducing noise in RAW files in Lightroom Classic. Now, the techniques we're going to be using will work just the same inside of Lightroom. The place I'm in right now is the develop module in Lightroom Classic. We're going to be working with the detail panel where most of the noise reduction features are to be found. Now, when it comes to noise reduction, there is no one right answer. Some people do no noise reduction. Some people do kind of a moderate amount, but you might be working for a client who wants you to really, really get in there and get rid of as much noise as possible. So what I want to do is to demonstrate what the software is capable of. The artistic judgments, those are going to be left to you. The main features we're going to be looking at are the noise reduction and the, uh, the luminous noise reduction and the color noise reduction. The difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom is that in Lightroom, you won't have some of these controls visible by default. Here in Lightroom Classic, two of the controls are grayed out. And that's because I've zeroed out the luminance and the color sliders. In Lightroom, what you have to do, there's a little triangle next to the uh, luminance and color noise. And you just have to twirl down the little triangle and you will get all the menu items that we're seeing in this image here. Now, in Lightroom Classic, what we get is this little image which shows us the image at 100%. And we can use this little slider here. I'm just going to zoom out. We can use this little slider here to look around the image and to find somewhere where there's a represent, re representative sample of the noise that we're going to be dealing with. Click once and you can make further adjustments in here. Now, once you are working inside of the main image, the advice is to look at the image at 100%. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to actually be zooming in quite a lot. So we're going to be looking at the image at 400%. And hopefully that will work out a little bit better for you guys on these smaller monitors. What we're looking at here is a mixture of color noise. And we are also seeing some luminance noise. Let's tackle the color noise first. We go down to the color noise adjustments. And if I just double click on the color noise, it's currently at zero. And the zero is lit up, which means that it's not a default. If we double click on it, we get the default settings. 25, 50, 50. The color noise should have completely disappeared. And generally speaking, that's what I find with the color noise. At 25, it's pretty much gone. And the default settings seem to work just fine. Uh, if you've got a low bandwidth situation or you're on a small monitor, you may not be able to see the color noise that we can see. This is the before image, the after image. But on my monitor, I can see plenty of color noise here. Even in the model's face, there's quite a lot of random color variation. That's what we uh, refer to as color noise. In this part of the image, we can see the after once we apply the default color settings we've still got quite a lot of luminance noise. So what I'm going to do is to take the color noise down um, and we'll take first a look at the luminance noise reduction. If I crank up the slider here to about 20, 30 percent, what happens is that most of the luminance noise just gets really kind of, let me go back to the full image, the luminance noise just gets really disrupted. You can't see it quite as clearly. And if I just double click on the color noise there, it's maybe a bit clearer. That's at zero. We see quite a lot of contrast in this little noisy pixels here. And at about 30, it's kind of blurred out and it's looking pretty good. Now, there's a detail tab here. If we take the detail, detail slider, we take the detail slider down to zero. It doesn't do very much. But if I crank up the luminance slider all the way, you can see it really does hammer the detail inside the image. Let's go to the before and after view. And what you can see is that we've got solid detail within the hair here. 
we've got very, very little detail here. And if we crank up the detail setting, notice that the noise has gone, but we're getting some of the detail back. So when you reduce noise, you're always fighting to try to retain detail. And the detail slider is just there to help you restore some of the detail. And I think that's one of the reasons why Adobe default this to 50. But you can adjust it anytime you wish. And the contrast setting, we can actually see what the contrast setting is doing. Let's just move this here. Right now, this looks really, really smooth. Let's crank up the contrast. I want you to notice what happens in this area as I move up the contrast. Now you might have seen that we get some of the some of the what I would call lower frequency contrast actually being restored. It's not quite the same as the de detail slider. It's operating at a different frequency, different wavelength, but it is kind of restoring some of the detail just like the detail slider. Now let's take a look at the I'm going to double click there to take that to zero. Let's take a look at the color noise reduction in a bit more detail. So this is the before, and you can see we've more or less got rid of all the noise here. I can't see any color noise here. But if we click over here, I think we can see a bit more of what happens as we crank up the color noise reduction. The before has got quite a lot of color noise. It's also got color variation. And maybe if I take down the detail to zero and the smoothness to zero, you can see maybe a bit more clearly just how much the slider is removing color from the image. So initially we remove some color noise and then we actually remove actual color from the image. If we go down to the detail slider and crank that up, this is trying to do the same thing as the detail slider in the luminance noise. Uh, reduction section, but it's hardly doing anything. It's hardly having an effect. That's off and just watch to see if there's an effect. There's no real effect, not in this photograph, but with a different camera, different subject, you might have a completely different response. Let's take a look at the smoothness slider. It's off at the moment. Let's take it all the way up to a hundred. Notice how much effect that has. Now, I'm going to speculate because I don't really know exactly how these things work, but I'm going to speculate that the smoothness is doing something almost the opposite to what the contrast is doing. There's definitely an impression that the contrast restores some of the original image, whilst the smoothness seems to be working in concert with the color uh, slider. But that's my guess as to what's happening. You, you're free to have your own theory. The detail slider here, as I said before, seems to be working the same as the detail slider there, but we're getting a somewhat more muted result. Now, if we generally leave the default settings for the color noise reduction, that generally speaking works pretty well. And as far as the noise reduction is concerned, like I say, the luminous noise, that's going to be up to you. But I would say, generally speaking, if you've got a choice, it's a good idea to limit how much noise reduction is occurring because it does tend to steal away from the detail. But, you know, you might have a client who has, client who has a very, very different idea about how much noise reduction they want to see. So if you find that you have to really crank it up, I would recommend at that point, maybe starting to look at possibility of using Lightroom as your initial noise reduction software and then getting something which is a bit more specialist, something like uh, the, the Nick Collection Define filter, something a bit more uh, capable of really giving you a very sensitive adjustment in the noise reduction. Lightroom is very good, but it's really, if you want to do some serious noise reduction, it might be just a starting point and you might need to use other professional software for your noise reduction. So Lightroom is very, very powerful and used with caution. It can do a really good job of eliminating or reducing noise without destroying the detail inside the image. 
So that's going to be it for, for, for this one from me. I hope you found some of that useful. Hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys in the next video.